to all my foodies watching. If you're looking for a great spot to eat, you know you can count on us here on Best of Wisconsin Restaurants. We took a trip to Sun Prairie, and we're here at the cafe, the Country Cafe, that is, with some delicious food. We're actually in the kitchen right now, cooking it up as we speak. This is owner and chef Joaquin. He is absolutely fabulous. Thanks for having nice us. Nice to see you, Jess Irene. I love cooking with you because you are a fabulous chef and your menu is vast. We'll talk about that in a minute, but what are we going to cook today? Well, today uh, we are going to cook uh, Spanish paella. It's a seafood dish with a bunch of uh, seafood, chicken, sausage, and um, saffron sauce. Yes, look at that. So we're going to get it sizzling for you right out of the gate here on Best of Wisconsin Restaurant. So you came up with quite the menu, I have to say. How did you decide to have paella? Well, I have a dream all the time to have food all over the, the world, yeah. and my dream comes true. It does. Um, I have not only paella, I have fish tacos, I have um, fajitas, uh, pastas, pastas, burgers, steaks, uh, prime rib on Saturdays, yeah. fish fry on Friday. You have covered your bases and our bases as well. So I do a little bit of everything. Yes. I, I always have the thought that I, one day I will have a restaurant where I can cook all this type of uh, different food. Yeah. And my big passion, if you know, is Italian food. But yeah. um, I know a lot of uh, different cuisine. So yes. A great today, chef in a lot of areas. So today we do paella. And what's amazing about paella, there's a lot of ingredients in this. Tell, tell us what you've added so far. Uh, first thing, I put the chicken. Then I add onions and garlic to give a nice flavor to the dish. And I add the sausage. What I'm, I'm going to put right now is the, the seafood. This is a meat lover's dream. You've got chicken, you've got sausage, and we're about to add seafood. Seafood. Yes, look at that. Wow, what a dish. That's I like clams, I like um, mussels, shrimp, lobs, and I like Spanish saffron, of course. Oh, yes. Wow, look at that. And that I'm is gonna, a colorful dish. Add some uh, chicken broth. Ooh, I bet that adds to a put lot all of the flavor. ingredients together yeah. and all the flavors from the chicken, the sausage. Delicious. One of the things that I think is so interesting about you and what you do, Joaquin, here at Country Cafe is, do you ever at home feel like you have a hard time picking a restaurant because somebody wants this kind of food and somebody wants that kind of food? You don't have that problem here because it's it's really all covered. This menu is enormous. You've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, but as you mentioned, just a lot of variety. I think that makes it really easy to pick where to go. Yeah. Uh like I said, it's a lot of my head that I have to think of uh, while creating this menu, and I decide to have uh, from um, big um, breakfast to a nice uh, seafood rice or uh, salads if you like, and light oh, dishes yes. as well, pasta. Don't forget those salad lovers. No, I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do have a, lots of um, uh, healthy options. I have gluten-free. I have um, whole wheat. I have. I can't imagine Bayon burger, what's know. all stocked back here in this big, gorgeous kitchen because there is so many ingredients on the menu, but that makes it really user friendly for people to come eat here and truly get what they want. Now, the Country Cafe has been here for a while, so if you've driven by or you've seen it, you might think, oh, yes, I've eaten there, but it's the new Country Cafe, and that's what's making it really special. Joaquin has taken over and put his very special touch on this place, not only in the menu, but also just in the diner experience. I think uh, it's good for everyone to have a nice place to go and dine and have fun with the family, you know? Yeah, like, really I really think this, this place is the, the place to go. Because it has burgers, beer, wine, pastas, breakfast. And that's uh, new, the beer and wine is something that you have added which I think is a nice touch if you want to have come in and have a drink with your dinner, if you're meat with your breakfast. I <laughs> love breakfast. Are I, oh my God, the, the mimosas, the bellinis are really good too. Yes. That's amazing. a nice touch. Yes. Just adds that something for everybody feel to it. And we're, we'll have 
those a little bit later next time we come. This looks amazing. I always wish people could smell your cooking, Joaquin, because being here in the kitchen, this is quite the amazing smell. So this is something that if you're a paella lover or if you've never had it but you love these ingredients, I highly recommend you give this one a try. Delish. Okay, the other thing that people want to know about is dessert. And we talked about it before on this program, but you don't leave us out on the dessert side of things. No, well, we do lots of desserts. We have ice creams, we have uh, bread pudding um, yeah. every once in a while. We like we have chocolate, a almond, with some uh, vanilla ice cream. I love vanilla ice cream all the time. Yes. We even have a spoon in there. All right. So pretty soon we're going to plate this up. And one other thing I want to talk about as you do that is you've got some really nice hours for people to come in. You guys get up early in the morning, don't you? Yes, we open at uh, 5 in the morning and uh, we close at 8. Uh, Monday to uh, Tuesday to Saturday. Uh, Saturday, uh, Friday and Monday we uh, open at 5.30 and close at 2 o'clock. Wow, great hours for folks. Okay, last but not least, let's see what that looks like. And that, my friends, is a beautiful, piping hot dish of paella, compliments of Joaquin here at Country Cafe. Boy, it sure has been a pleasure being here in your kitchen. Thank, Thank you for, for having us. Having us Love seeing you. We'll be right back with more Best of Wisconsin Restaurant.